Hi, I'm Camden with Free Tours by Foot and Top Things to Do DC. Welcome to Georgetown. This historic neighborhood in Washington DC should be on your list of places to visit. If you like history or architecture, shopping, good food, this is basically everybody, right? Georgetown is one of my favorite places to visit. You can easily spend a full day here, exploring historic house museums, strolling the tree-lined streets, people watching at the waterfront, and grabbing a bite to eat. If you're just looking for the highlights, why not take our two-hour historic Georgetown walking tour, or our evening ghost and true crime tours to get a few of the stories and a guided walk through the neighborhood. We're going to spend some time today in Georgetown to recommend our top 10 things to see. Go over a bit of the local shopping, restaurants and coffee shops, as well as where you can find the nightlife here in Georgetown. Georgetown is easily accessible from the Foggy Bottom or Roslyn Metro Station. Expect a 10 to 15 minute walk from either. There are also a number of bus routes that come through Georgetown, plenty of bike share racks, and if the weather's nice, a gorgeous walk along the river from the National Mall. So don't let the rumor that Georgetown is difficult to get to deter you from visiting. Now that you know how to get here, what should you see? Here are our top 10. Number one, Georgetown Waterfront. You'll find a great number of restaurants right on the water here, as well as boat and kayak rentals to paddle down the Potomac River and sightseeing cruises that take you out on the water for a different view of the memorials. A little further down the waterfront park is a sprawling green space to play or rest and a splash park for the kids. Number two, CNO Canal. This peaceful walk along a once bustling industrial canal is nearly 185 miles long, but this portion in Georgetown offers a respite from the bustling M Street. Number three, Georgetown University. A renowned and historic campus. Explore the stories of the buildings on our audio self-guided tour, grab a t-shirt at the bookstore, or just take a break on the quad. Number four, house hunting. It's like window shopping for realty. The cobblestone streets with historic row houses of all shapes and sizes with stunning gardens tucked away. This is a great neighborhood just to wander. Number five, Exorcist Steps. If you've seen the 1970s film The Exorcist, these steps will look familiar. We tell more of the eerie steps here on our Ghost of Georgetown tour. Number six, Old Stone House. The oldest and only standing pre-revolutionary residence in the district, it is a National Park Service site with a reconstructed interior to experience life in colonial Georgetown. Number seven, Dumbarton Oaks. This estate sprawls through the north of Georgetown with its magnificent architecture and gardens. The art collection and museum is open to the public, as is its renowned garden. This was the site of the Dumbarton Oaks Conference, which laid the groundwork for the founding of the United Nations. Number eight, Tudor Place. This federal style home was reopened as the historic house museum. The previous residents of this house have always been interested in preserving the history of the house and the family. As descendants of Martha Washington and relatives of Robert E. Lee, the Peter family that lived here documented family heirlooms and architectural details of the house. Number nine, Oak Hill Cemetery. This rural movement cemetery dates back to 1848. Interred here are many well-known names, Edwin Stanton, Lincoln Secretary of War, Ben Bradley and the Grahams of Washington Post. You'll also find the Carroll Crypt here, one of the few unchanged places in the city that was visited by President Abraham Lincoln when he would come to visit after the death of his young son, Willie. You'll find these historic markers all among beautifully maintained walkways, forested areas, and gardens. Number 10, take a walking tour. Of course, you'll get far more out of a visit to Georgetown if you travel around with an expert guide. We offer three tours of Georgetown, from a daytime historic tour to a family-friendly, humorous, and so historical ghost tour, or an adult-only true crimes of wicked Georgetown. There are so many other great places to visit in Georgetown, from learning about the black history of the neighborhood in Herring Hill and Rose Park, to visiting Dumbarton House Museum. For more information on top 10 and honorable mentions of things to do, visit our blog post linked below. Georgetown is the go-to shopping area inside the district. 
While walking along the two main streets of Georgetown, M Street Northwest and Wisconsin Avenue Northwest, you'll find everything from staples such as Urban Outfitters and Nike, to secondhand stores, to vintage shops that carry designer brands. The northern section of Wisconsin Avenue by the Georgetown Library will have you feeling as if you're wandering the streets of Paris. Book Hill, as this area is known, offers more than the standard retail outlets. Here you'll find antiques row, bespoke jewelry, and curious treasures to take home with you. Meanwhile, M Street offers more of the shopping mall experience without the mall itself. Large chain stores can be found along this main road. Banana Republic, Anthropology, J. Crew, and more can all be found along M Street. If you're looking for a few unique finds or you just need to replace a lost suitcase, Georgetown Shopping offers a varied experience to add to your visit to Washington, D.C. So you've learned, explored, shopped, and you're probably hungry now. Well, don't worry because Georgetown has some of the best places to eat. You really cannot go wrong, but we do have our favorites. At the top of everyone's list is Martin's Tavern, an Irish-American pub with delicious food and even better history. If pasta is more what you're looking for, try to get a table at Philomena's down by the canal. If you're lucky, you can see the homemade pasta being made in the front window. For a meal on the go, wander into the neighborhood a bit for Stotowski Market for a deli meat made to order sandwich from the butcher shop. But you may want to come to Georgetown to be seen and to rub elbows, so be sure to check out Fiola Mare or Cafe Milano, as much a Georgetown experience as a great meal. Save some room for dessert. There are so many delectable places to eat in Georgetown that we even have a Georgetown desserts tour to cover them all. Olivia Macaron, Georgetown Cupcake, and our favorite, Baked and Wired, where you can get sweet, savory treats, as well as a cup of coffee to stay up for the Georgetown nightlife. DC is not known for being a nightlife, late night, dance scene kind of city, but Georgetown is one of the places you can go for a night on the town. The classic place for live music is called Blues Alley. Blues Alley is a listening bar, so expect incredible jazz musicians, but don't go to chat. For a more low-key, upbeat, it's okay to talk kind of place, check out the Georgetown Piano Bar. Requests are welcome. There are a dozen bars in Georgetown, a few established places that locals love, like the Tombs over by campus, or Clydes of Georgetown on M Street, and a rotating number of sports bar and upscale cocktail lounges. Don't expect to find many dive bars in this neighborhood. You can cap off your evening with a stroll along the waterfront, one of our nighttime Georgetown tours, or people watching on M Street. Georgetown is a unique part of Washington, D.C. and should be included on your places to visit. Let us know if you have any questions or comments about visiting Georgetown or any part of Washington, D.C. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more up-to-date insights or follow us on social media at Top Things to Do D.C. Hope to see you on one of our walking tours. You can make reservations at freetoursbyfoot.com.